What's going on my reefing fan, March here, Fagbox TV, and I'm gonna start a video series on the Neptune Apex system. What, what? Okay, this is gonna be a very long series. Strap in, grab your popcorn, grab a beer, grab coffee, do whatever you do when you watch these videos. Actually, question of the day, what are you doing when you're watching these videos? Are you doing your laundry? Are you sitting in front of the computer? Are you on your phone um, sitting in traffic? Do you play this? Like, what are you doing right now as you're watching the video? Where are you? How do you watch Fragbox TV? I wanna know. Okay, like I said, it's going to be a little bit longer series. Why? Because there's a lot going on. First off, what is Neptune systems? What is this apex? What is this, this holy gloriness that everyone strives for and that I'm constantly raving about? It is an aquarium controller, first off, and it will make your aquarium a smart aquarium. So it'll hook up all the important aspects of aquarium and reef keeping to your phone or computer so that you can control your lights, your skimmer, your heater, your pumps, all that fun stuff. And then for me, at least it is as a, a store owner. So if you're just tuning into the channel, this is Fragbox TV. We are a saltwater specialty coral store. Is that what we are? Yeah, we are your go-to coral specialist here in the greater Toronto area. And we're running this entire Neptune Apex on the store, every single aquarium, with the exception of that one, which is gonna get an Apex. These are all controlled off the Apex system. So for us, not only is it a controller that provides uh, convenience and things like that. It's a monitor and it's an insurance plan. Most importantly, this is sort of, you can think about it in the same aspect for your, for your aquarium home. It's an insurance plan for your aquarium because not only will it monitor important things like temperature, pH, ORP, salinity, it will, uh, calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, all these very important values. Not only does it monitor them, it will notify you when those values go out of a specified range, and then it will also take action. So what does that mean? If temperature, basically, let me try and sum up this system with an analogy. If something does this, you tell it to do that. So for example, let's say your temperature goes, we're just gonna use temperature for an example. Temperature goes below 77 degrees or whatever you specify, you tell the apex, turn on my heater. If temperature goes above whatever specified number, so let's say 78 degrees, turn off my heater. So you've set a range of 77 to 78. That's one of the most common things and can be potentially life-saving things with the apex. So it works like that in a lot of aspects. If calcium is this, do that. If you detect water on the floor, send me a text message, send me an email, turn off this pump, if, 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 if. Now, the early iterations of Apex were not the most user-friendly. You had to write code. You didn't have to be a computer programmer, but you had to have a basic understanding of the system. That is all gone and done with, with their new software. It's very, very, very easy, not only to set up, but also to program. So in the beginning, when they first came out, these guys have been around for a long time and I've used their earlier ones. I can tell you these ones are a walk in the park compared to the other ones. Yes, if you go out and get an Apex, it's gonna take you an hour to set up. You gotta sit there with the manual, but it's very user-friendly. The longest thing that's gonna take is basically you programming and telling your Apex what you want it to do. So it's a controller and you're in control of it. So you're gonna tell it, exactly what to do. Now, if you're gonna go out and purchase the Apex, step one, you're gonna need one of these two things here. This is your regular Apex, or what they call Apex Gold, or what we call Apex Full. In Canada, it runs $1,100, and then they have a smaller model called the Apex EL, entry level. These are essentially the, two, the same thing. There's quite a big price difference, and I'll explain why in a second. This one's running close to 1100 and this one is 675. Just for reference, this is July 2021. Obviously, prices can go up and down. So why is there that discrepancy of three to $400? This one will give you the main brain to set up your Apex, an energy bar right here, which is what controls all of your outlets. So it's gonna give you eight spots. So you could choose to put your heater, which is the most common. You could throw on your lights, your skimmer, your return pump, your power head, your wave maker. Sorry, those are the two same things. Um, 
and three other outlets, whatever you decide to plug into this. And then your apex is going to turn these on and off based on what you tell it. So they both come with that EB8. They co both come with the brain. They both come with built-in Wi-Fi. They both come with temperature and pH probes. The main difference between the less expensive one and the more expensive one, this one comes with salinity right out of the box. You're, it's called a conductivity probe which is an indirect measurement of salinity. And it also comes with something called ORP, which is oxygen, oxygen redox potential. So I'll do a video explaining those two and which system is more suitable for you. I can tell you that more people go with this one here. You can always add salinity and ORP to this one here, which is the entry level, less expensive one. So some people go with that just to get, you know, their feet wet, get into it without spending 1100. Maybe you can justify to your husband, wife or partner. Um, you know, it is quite an expensive purchase. Maybe you could swing a $600 purchase instead of an $1,100 purchase. If you go with this one, the cheaper one, you can always add the part, the components that are missing out of the more expensive one, which again are ORP and salinity. So it almost works out to be the same price as well. The major difference is you're going to need a different, uh, a separate module. So you will end up with more wires if you go that route. If you go with the cheaper one and decide I want to turn this into the more expensive one, it's almost the same price, but you end up with two extra of these boxes, which they call modules. And you also end up with a couple more um, wires. So if you're somebody that's really into keeping your aquarium and wiring clean, then no question about it. Just go ahead and go with this one because it's going to be a little bit more of a cleaner setup. If you're just looking to get into it and save some money and want to try and experience the, the Apex system, go with the EL one. And if you're still unsure and you have more questions, hit us up. Our email is going to be at the end of this video as well. I'm going to continue to talk about the apex and it's going to be a long video series. Like I said, strap in. This isn't going to be one of March's quick videos. There's a lot to talk about here. I think I'm going to do a video on each individual thing they offer. So these are the core pumps, which are return pumps. I'll just give you a quick kind of breakdown now and then go episode by episode into each individual one. The one that people want the most over here is the Trident, which is godsend. The GDR, which is the reservoirs, which hold liquid if you're into dosing your aquarium. This is probably the second most popular item on the shelf here, which is the dose that actually doses. It's a head unit which doses liquid into your aquarium. I love the wave pumps here. The Neptune wave pumps are really great power heads that we're using now throughout the entire store. I got two of them here. I got another two over here. Disregard these shitty gyres. I'm waiting for them to die. I'm using four on this tank and I'm using four more on that tank and even more in the basement. I really, really love their wave makers and highly recommend them. You need to have the Apex system in order to use them. They have flow sensors, which monitor flow through pipes. I'll talk about why that's important. They come in different sizes, two inch, one inch, half inch, even down to uh, a quarter inch. The leak detection kit is an awesome tool. We have them set up all over the store and basically it's a little leak sensor so that if it gets wet, which um, hopefully never happens. You never want water on the floor, but we have them behind most of our aquariums and on the floors behind anywhere we think we may have a leak. So there's one there. We, we have them all throughout the, the entire store basically. So that if God forbid we do have a leak, we're gonna get notified and then we can turn off the pump to that aquarium to stop the leak and then we can react and see what's going on. The auto top off kit here, it's an awesome auto top off. These are some utility pumps that work nicely with the Apex, so on and off. So you hear me say a lot in the videos, uh, Apex friendly, which means that it works within the Apex system. These are the auto feeders, which are great. They just came out with this new grow light, refugium light, which we're using. I need to do an update video on that because it's growing macroalgae like crazy. I'll talk more about the EB8s and all the different ports that come on the side. These are the reagents that keep the Neptune Trident working. You have to change them every month. We'll get into that. Calibration solutions for the probes. So you have the main probes are your salinity, your pH, your ORP, and temperature. And then all the associated cables. I'll probably just do one video talking about the cables. This is one of the coolest, most underrated and underused things I think that Apex offers. This is the breakout box. These are their new solenoid valves to shut uh, quarter inch water lines off. Optical sensors, these are a must have if you have an Apex system. These are extension cables and power supplies. 
And then I'll talk a little bit about these boxes here, the modules, the if you need a display module. There's a lot. There's a lot to talk about. There's no way I can cover it in one video. I'm going to be setting up a new Apex on the farm that ties into this. So as I set it up and I start opening all these boxes, then I, it'll give me the chance to do a video on each individual item. It's going to be a long series. If you have any questions along the way, you can always hit us up in the comments or email us and that'll help kind of shape the comment, uh, content as we go. I really want to do an exhaustive video series on this because it is quite a large investment. And I know a lot of people dream about setting them up. I can tell you they are well, well worth the money to get a nice saltwater tank running. If you're in the hobby, you know what it costs. Something like this full of corals, there's a lot of money. There's thousands of dollars in fish and corals. And if you can implement something to, you know, monitor and watch them 24 seven, but not only that, make your life easy. You want to set up auto water change, auto dosing, auto testing, auto, auto, auto. You can automize so many things about this hobby with this system. And there's really no competitor as of today on the market. There's nothing else in the store we offer that's even close to what these guys are doing. Um, I'm a huge fanboy of this company, not only because we sell it, not only because we're one of the biggest dealers in the country of their products, but we use it. The whole store is running on it. I've been using it for as long as I've been in the hobby. So um, any, any questions related to this, please hit us up. This is the first video of many that are coming about the Neptune Apex. It's been long awaited. It's summertime. So now I have the time to kind of do these longer videos and talk about it. That's going to be the end of this one. This is our intro to it. If you guys like the content, we do a video, or at least we strive to do a video every single day of the week. That's seven days a week here at Fragbox. Hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV.